Hello brothers and sisters, making another video, this time is the message uh, for women, okay, also from the Lord, things that he's not happy about, and things that he also wants us to bear in mind, okay, so um, women have been doing also a lot of things that make the Lord upset too, okay, and the ha Lord is not happy about, okay, which is, um, even though he has called men to lead women, okay, and to lead, let's say to lead, um, if we women see that the men are leading in an ungodly way, we should give um, our submission directly to the Lord, okay? Whether we are still remaining in relationship with them or not, okay? If we find it hard to depart from them, Okay, then we should give our submission no matter what directly to the Lord. Okay, uh, and another thing is that uh, the Lord wants women to bear in mind about self respect. Okay, not to allow men to use their mind and their brain and to mislead them. Okay, and to deceive them. Okay, um, and to to know the real meaning of being a woman, okay? First of all, I want to say that women shouldn't allow themselves to be treated them as, um, to be treated as a um, condom, okay? Something that men going to use just for sex and then after that, um, discharge of it, Okay? Uh, because we are women and we shouldn't allow men to treat us that way, okay? But we are the ones who have to show self-respect in the first place, okay? It's not everyone who's going to say that you are beautiful or that you are, that they want to marry you. It's not everyone that you have to believe in all these things. You have to check their the behavior very well, okay? Because most men just want to deceive, just want to use us, Okay? So we have to pay great attention for that, okay, that we not going to be seen as well as um, easy to deceive, okay, because this has been cause of many women, uh, many good women being pained as well and seen as in general as fools, because the women being very easily to, to be fooled and to be deceived, okay, and, we, and men in general have been seen women as as so. Okay, and showing absolutely no respect towards women because women hasn't been been behaving in showing no self respect at all as well. Okay, and more and more women be behaving in this way. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> so women need to become more godly. Okay, and turn their ways into becoming more modest. Okay, in every single way. Okay, we all have done bad things, but once we, we turn to the Lord, we have to turn to the Lord fully, okay, 360 degree, not just half, okay? And we also need to um, bear in mind the real meaning of being a woman. So, as you know, woman has written W-O and man on it, Okay? So, in order for us to be a real woman, we need to find the real man inside of ourselves, okay? And that includes waking up in the morning and see ourselves without any makeup at all, okay? We don't have to use makeup all the time, and especially to lower the amount of makeup that we use, okay? Um, it's okay to look good, but when we're trying to look perfect, that's not okay, and it's not acceptable for the Lord, okay? Because it becomes an obsession, it's lack of self-control, it's lack of self-love, okay, we must accept ourselves the way that we are, when we wake up in the morning naturally, okay, try our best to, okay, uh, more so when we, when we, when we, under the light, okay, when we turn in facing the Lord, okay, um, and so this is why it's important to, to accept and to find the man inside of our own selves in terms of being, 
you know, um, simple as well, you know, reduce the amount of argument between women, okay, sometimes women for small things, they can make escalate to big things, okay, like men, when they argue with each other in the next minute, they are fine with each other, but women find it really hard to, um, get along with other women, need to stop the competition, it's too much, okay, between women, okay, um, all to get men's attentions and all these things, it has to stop, okay, we need to, to behave uh, in a reasonable way before the Lord, we need to be very careful with the things that we also wear, okay, because um, that we may not find ourselves guilty of, um, guilty of uh, tempting a man, okay, or misleading a man, okay, into, you know, temptation, uh, lost, okay, towards us and stuff like that. There is a lot of perfect men, but there are times also where women are really find guilty in, in, in terms of that, okay. So we need to be very careful that we may not find ourselves guilty of them things, okay, tempting a man. Okay, there are people out there that are naturally beautiful, okay, but um, that's when we are trying to look perfect also and to have that attention. I know that many women don't like to admit that, that they're doing that for attention, okay, but they are, okay. So we need to be very careful with all these things that we may not find ourselves guilty, okay, and also... Um, that we might find, that we might become to men's eyes like um, a good wife material, okay? Good wife material, okay? And we no also need to remember that we came in this world to be um, a helper for men, not headache, not temptation, not burden, not um, um, a distraction for them in godly ways, okay, or even sort of person they're gonna take their possessions, okay, but to be a helper in every single way, okay, good, good companion, okay, and also the Lord is um, a good way to, to show also a woman how to behave, okay, because he was always very faithful to God, okay, and show himself how it is to be under submission, okay, and uh, it's not the fact that we are under submission of a man that we have to also, um, another thing we have to keep in mind is not the fact that we are also in submission to men that we have to tolerate every single crap that they do, okay, uh, if we see that they are doing things that are ungodly, we should stop it, okay, we should change it, okay, and uh, learn to behave in a righteous way, okay? And also, um, if Lord can choose anyone to lead, it's his own choice. He's the one who, who made men to, to choose. He chose men to be leaders, okay? To lead, but he also can change that tomorrow, and who knows, okay? Uh, he can still choose a woman to lead also, okay? I call a woman to lead. Okay, if he's his choice, if he's his will, okay. Um, and yeah, we need to be very careful. We need to learn to be more warm as women, okay. W women, I remember a lot when I was a kid, if anyone would want to mention about unconditional love would be towards a woman to her child, okay. But nowadays women are becoming really cold, really uncaring, really unloving, okay, this is our great qualities that women automatically possess, but they are losing these qualities because they are too obsessed to follow men's ways and to follow, um, to copy men a lot at the point that they are forgetting to be what being a true woman truly is, okay, which is absolutely wrong as well, okay, and the Lord is not happy with that, okay, and we need to bring all these things back in, in place, okay, and to know the real function and what truly being a woman, what it is truly to be a woman, okay, need to, to, to learn the combinations of being 
um, sweet, you know, loving, caring as well, you know, as having the wild side, but wild side, okay, but that it's not going to fall into a, an ungodly way, okay? Uh, and the best makeup for a woman is truly a, a great smile. Okay, things that sometimes we think that men likes a lot of stuff that we do, but they despise it, and that makes them actually to disrespect us more, make us look cheap, okay, cheap, um, as women, and so they start disrespecting us a lot, okay, because due to these um, behaviors and attitudes that we have, okay, and bad impressions that we pass to them, okay, that look as, make us look cheap, okay, so we need to be very careful for all these things, because, um, as I said to men, in terms of fornication and all these things, the Lord is very specific, saying that no fornication, no adulterer, no sexually immoral going to go to, to heaven, okay, so we need to keep in mind and stop all the things, whether we are in in relationship or not okay all sorts of um ungodliness and immoral stuff that women are doing okay the lord is not happy at all whether they are single or not you know if, if they're using um sexual toys and stuff like that even other things okay that they even want to mention about okay <coughs> like sorry in terms of the bestiality being intimate with animals and stuff like that you know and because they need to release of you know themselves and stuff like that but it's absolutely wrong it's detestable it's an abomination and has to stop okay anyone who's doing such things really have to stop before it's too late um and, uh, yeah, all these things have to, to come to an end, okay? Women need to go back to being how they used to be, okay? Showing great fear for the Lord, okay? And serving the Lord, whether they are in the submission of an ungodly man or not, okay? And uh, become more humble, more... Um, more humble, more modest, okay, in every single way possible, and remember that they have to also become mature, okay, and keep all the, the loving nature for their husbands and for their children also, bringing back that attitude, okay, it's beautiful to see um, a loving mother, a loving wife, okay, because one day women will be, if they not in a relationship, one day they will be, okay. Um, so it's pretty much almost the same thing, you know. Women as well. Some women taking ages to grow, becoming quite immature. Even though women mature quicker than men, are still not mature enough as they used to be back in the days, okay. Even though people like to say times have changed. I absolutely go against that saying, okay? I don't believe times change. We are the ones who change with time and so want to change everything around us, okay? To, to what can I say, to make things easier for the world to accept our own changes, okay? But I pray that we become more mature and our behaviors will be more pleasing to the eyes of the Lord and that the Lord will be absolutely, we have everything to, um, and that we have the Lord as our role models in everything that we do in Jesus' name. And I pray for our protection, for our guidance, and that the Lord bring more wisdom, more love for our hearts, okay, to become great women, 